हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इंजीनियरिंग मेड इजी दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो सेशन ऑफ डिजिटल सर्किट्स एंड लॉजिक डिजाइन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सॉल्व्ड अ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज वी हैव टू फाइंड इफ दिस फंक्शन इज त्रिशोल फंक्शन और नॉट एंड द आंसर फॉर दिस इज इट इज नॉट अ त्रिशोल फंक्शन यू कैन टेक द कॉम्बिनेशन और यू कैन एस्टिमेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ ऑल द वेट्स एंड थ्रिशोल्ड ओके एंड चेक फॉर द कंडीशंस इट दे डज नॉट सेटिस्फाई ऑल दिस कंडीशंस सो इट इज नॉट अ थ्रिशोल फंक्शन दिस इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी विल डिस्कस टू प्रॉब्लम्स ओके फर्स्ट वन देर इज अ फंक्शन एफ विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर इनपुट्स एक्स फोर ओके एंड द त्रिशोल नेटवर्क इज एज शोन बिलो वन बाय टू इज द त्रिशोल एलिमेंट वैल्यू दिस इज माइनस वन टू टू माइनस थ्री दीज आर द फोर वेट्स इट हैज फोर इनपुट्स ओके and we need to find out output y y is equal to question mark so in the first video we have solved this type of problem okay we will solve again so first as usual we need to write inputs okay there are four inputs as we can see and next we need to write weighted sum okay we know how to write weighted sum it will be x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 plus x4 w4 okay and last will be the output y okay write down all the combinations of inputs from 0000 to 1111 okay i have written all the 16 combinations from 0000 to 1111 i hope you are able to see it okay next substitute the values of x1 x2 x3 x4 as well as w1 w2 w3 w4 in this equation and write down the weighted sum output okay so for the first one weighted sum will be 0 for the second one one is present only at x4 just write down the value of w4 that is minus 3 so for the next one the answer will be 2 and next we have x3 and x4 as 1 1 so that will be 2 Minus three, which is nothing but minus one. Okay, like this, complete the whole column. So I have completed the whole column. I hope you are able to see it. Please cross check with your answers. Okay. So now we will compare the weighted sum with the threshold value. If the weighted sum is greater than or lesser than the threshold value. Zero is obviously greater than minus one by two. Okay, minus three is lesser than minus one by two. Two is greater than minus one by two. Minus one is lesser than minus one by two. It is greater minus one by two, lesser than minus one by two. So you can just complete the whole column. Okay. i have completed the whole column you can just cross check with your answers okay so now we need to consider the input output relationship if the weighted sum is greater than the threshold value then the output is 1 if it is lesser than the threshold value then the output is 0 it is greater than so 1 it is lesser than threshold it is 
okay just complete the whole column so i have completed the whole column and i have drawn the horizontal lines so that you can distinguish i hope you are able to see the output just cross check with your answers okay now that we have completed the output column we need to go to the next step uh, when we need to find out the output we need to go to the k map okay we will draw a k map here i'll just take and the color sketch okay we will draw k map here so it consists of four inputs so 2 raised to 4 will be 16 so k map will be of 16 blocks it's done here i'll take x1 x2 here will be x3 x4 okay x1 bar x2 bar x1 bar x2 x1 x2 x1 x2 bar x3 x4 bar x3 bar x4 x3 x4 and x3 x4 bar okay or else if you are confused how to write the output in the k map you can just write down the number here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 okay just write down the output according to this number 0 1 2 3 okay i'll just show you how to write it okay this is the zero we'll start from zero i'll just take another sketch zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen okay these are the numbers associated so this will be the zeroth block one zero two we will write here one zero okay four is one five is zero six is one seven is one eight is here eight is zero nine is zero ten is one eleven sorry ten is one eleven is zero okay twelve is one thirteen is zero fourteen is one fifteen is one okay we have drawn a k map now now we will group the number now now we will group the ones okay we can group all these ones this is a quad here also we have a quad okay and the quad will be I'll take another sketch here we have another quad hope you are able to see it okay here also we have another quad okay uh, please go to K map videos before uh, going to the logic design subject they are very important so we will now find out the output from this quad we have a common that is x3 x4 bar okay from this quad we have a common x2 and x3 okay from this quad we have common x2 and x4 bar the, this squared we have x1 bar and x4 bar so this is the output 
y is equal to x1 bar x4 bar plus x2 x3 plus x2 x4 bar plus x3 x4 bar please cross check with your answers and uh, let me know if you get the same answer in the comment section below okay now we will go to next problem so this is the question for the next problem we need to find out f is equal to question mark here we have uh, two threshold logics cascaded as you can see the output of the first threshold element that is g will be input for the second one okay we need to find out f okay we need to find out f so we'll go to okay write down the question we will go to the first step that is nothing but the table so first we need to find out the output g as we did in the previous problem okay then we use the g as an input to the second logic okay so first we will find out g here as usual we need to write the inputs okay there are four inputs x1 x2 x3 x4 in the next uh, column we will write the weighted sum okay it is similar to the uh, first problem that we have solved it okay here the weighted sum will be you can see it here okay i hope you are able to see minus 2 minus 2 1 1 are the weights so the weighted sum will be minus 2 x1 sorry it's minus 2 x2 plus x3 plus x4 okay this is the ignore this okay so this is the weighted sum equation and next we will find out g that is the output of the first threshold logic okay we will do it till here and then we will continue it first write down the inputs from 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 1111 okay now i have written all the combinations of inputs as you can see next we will go to the next step that is the weighted sum okay just substitute the values of x1 x2 x3 x4 in this equation and write down the weighted sum column first one will be zero second sum we have one only at x4 that will be one we have one at x3 that will be one if we have x3 x4 that will be two okay next we have x2 minus two okay like this just complete the whole column so i have completed the whole column just cross check with your answers okay i hope you are able to see okay so now just compare the weighted sum with the threshold okay just like the previous question so here as we can see the threshold is minus 1.2 okay just compare it 0 is greater than minus 1.2 okay 1 is greater than minus 1.2 greater than minus 1.2 2 is greater than minus 1.2 minus 2 is lesser than minus 1.2 minus 1 is lesser than minus 1.2 just complete the whole column okay i have completed the whole column here i hope you have also completed it just cross check the answers okay so when the weighted sum is greater than the threshold output will be 1 if it is greater than the threshold output will be 1 here it is lesser than the threshold output will be 0 okay just complete the uh, whole column of g okay so now i have completed okay in the previous question what we did we went for the came up in the next step here we need we don't have to go to the k map because we have still a threshold logic another threshold logic to solve okay now we have uh, 
now we have the values of g okay don't go for the k maps if they are uh, cascaded okay if they are cascaded tissue logic don't go for the k map okay we need to go to the k map in the last step because we have not solved the threshold logic completely don't go for the k map okay next what we will do we will write a weighted sum for this logic we have completed till here but we have to solve this logic also so write down the weighted sum for this logic now so it will be 2x1 plus 2x2 plus we have 4g here here g the output of the first logic will be considered as input to the second logic so we have 4g here okay we have plus x3 we have plus x4 i hope you are getting the point okay instead of using the x terminology we have used g here just close this logic and you'll understand okay i hope you got you got this point okay so next we will write down the weighted sum here okay so the first will be just let me draw the horizontal lines okay now substitute the values of x1 x2 x3 x4 and also g in this equation okay x1 is 0 plus 0 plus 4 into g is 1 plus 0 plus 0 which will be nothing but 4 okay i hope you are able to understand it okay wherever there is a 1 or else you can do like this wherever there is a 1 okay here you can write 4 beforehand because we have 4g here now ignore the 4g and write down the values of x1 x2 x3 x4 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 x3 is 1 plus x3 plus x4 that will be 1 plus 1 Zero plus x two is two into x two will be two. Okay, just substitute the values of x one, x two, x three, x four, and in addition to this, we need to substitute the value of g also. Okay, in this equation, I hope you are able to understand it. Okay, just complete the column. Okay, I have completed the whole column. Just you can cross check with your answers. Okay, I hope you are able to see it and grasp it. So now we have threshold here for the second logic. We have completed this logic. Don't worry about this now. We are solving for this logic. So seven by two is the threshold value, which is nothing but three point five. Okay, compare it with the weighted sum. Okay, for the second, the weighted sum for the second logic are. these compare 3.5 with the weighted sum if it is greater than 3.5 or lesser than the 3.5 4 is greater than 3.5 5 is greater than 3.5 okay 0.5 2 is lesser than 3.5 3 is lesser than 3.5 okay just complete the uh, whole column and check cross check uh, with my answers if you have any doubt then please let me know in the comment section below okay okay now i have completed comparing the threshold with the weighted sum and as usual we need to go for the next step we need to find out the f here okay we are repeating the same steps okay 
here we have found out G here we need to find out F if the just close this it is of no use now okay just come uh, just see if the weighted sum is greater than or lesser than the threshold for the second logic okay if it is greater than the threshold then it means the output is 1 okay if it is the weighted sum is lesser than the threshold output is 0 I hope you are able to see and understand it okay yeah I have completed the whole column I hope you are able to understand it okay now that we have solved for all the uh, logic elements in the given circuit okay we have solved for G and also F we have included the G in uh, the logic circuit of F okay now we need to go for the K map okay assume that another logic is present at this end okay then we don't have to go for the K map until we solve it for all the logic circuits first okay for all the threshold elements we need to solve first and for the last step we need to go for the K map I hope you are able to get it now we have solved it for G as well as F we need to go for the K map now I'll try the K map here okay so it consists of four inputs x1 x2 x3 x4 So there are 16 blocks present okay x1 x2 x3 x4 I hope you are able to see x1 bar x2 bar x1 bar x2 x1 x2 x1 x2 bar x3 bar x4 bar x3 bar x4 x3 x4 and x3 x4 bar okay now write down this is for sorry this is for f we are calculating it for f okay just write down the outputs of f 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 1 and 1 1 1 1 okay now we have uh, just taken the sketch okay here we have a quad here and we have a quad here okay from this the common is x1 x2 from this we have x3 x4 from this quad we have x1 bar x2 bar okay so the output f is equal to x1 x2 plus x1 bar x2 bar plus x3 x4 okay this is the output let me know if you have got the same output okay i hope you are able to understand it so we will meet in the next session and we will solve some more problems and also we will understand about the unique functions and also some positive and negative functions okay till then thank you